Here's Trixie. She wants to explore my body a little bit. So, hey, let's go crazy. Wow. That, if You're it weren't my daughter, that's I'd one theory. That. Well, I mean, it's a, I, 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 just, I just can't. And Manson, I, I, I just think that's pretty unlikely. Can you tell them as, as outlandish as that is? How old is your daughter? 14. Okay. So, look. We, we joke around on the show, so we're not the, the joke police. Um, I don't know if Tucker was joking, uh, but I do know Tucker and the right wing is constantly accusing other people of pedophilia. And I do know that QAnon is super mad about it. So if it, can you imagine if Joe Biden was joking around about how he'd, he'd like be to turned his, on by 14 year old girls experimenting with one another? If you're a right winger, you know what you would say. You know what you would write all over the internet. So I'm asking you, do you have any kind of consistency? And you know you don't. And you're gonna say, I would think that it was the worst, creepiest, most pedophile thing if a Democrat did it. But if Tucker says it, I don't care at all, have at it. You know that's gonna be your reaction. Bet you didn't think M&Ms were pushing intolerance, but they were, they've been changed. You're seeing the changes right now on your screen. The green M&M you will notice is no longer wearing sexy boots. Now she's wearing sensible sneakers. Why the change? Well, according to M&Ms, quote, we all win when we see more women in leading roles because leading women do not wear sexy boots. Leading women wear frumpy shoes, the frumpier the better, that's the rule. The other big change is that the brown M&M has, quote, transitioned from high stilettos to lower block heels, also less sexy. That's progress. M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. Until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you're totally turned off, we've achieved equity. They've won. You know, I agree, Tucker. When I see a woman wearing block heels instead of stilettos, I don't want to have a drink with her. Who would want to have a drink with a block heeled wearing woman? Ugh. Right? To, to say nothing of the frumpy sneakers. Oh like, oh, how dare you? Look, as a frumpy sneaker lady, uh, I protest. But it's just, this is so. Like what Tucker clearly was obsessed with the M&Ms when he was little, like his first crush, you know, you're weird. Like, like uh, everyone like thought Lola Bunny could really get it. Uh, everyone was like, Lola Bunny, my God, like my, maybe that's just my boyfriend who was just like, I, I don't know, I had a weird thing with Lola Bunny. <laughs> um, and like, and, and Lola Bunny in the new Space Jam apparently is a little less sexy. Woo and I'm sure the right freaked out about that, but like, why, why is he revealing his hand? Why do you want to take candy out and have a drink with it and then take it home and make sweet, sweet love to it? I mean, I guess that's what I Anna, mean, maybe you do to peanut M&Ms, I'm not sure. Absolutely, peanut M&Ms, <laughs> the best snack when you're high or when you're not high, they're delicious. I'm just going on record as revealing the trauma of men feeling like they've fallen short of a alpha male contract that nobody can live up to. And until we get rid of that in men, I'm going on record, says John Mayer, that I'm against men behaving badly. John Mayer has been accused of behaving badly. Maybe this is a preemptive strike against further accusations. We don't know. Anusha Hussain is a feminist and a columnist and game enough to join us tonight. Thanks all for coming on. Thanks for having so, me. So look, I don't I don't doubt anyone's sincerity, yours or John Mayer's. So I just want and I just want to restate, I think John Mayer's a really talented guy. But I remember his song, Your Body is a Wonderland. And in it, he's got this line, one pair of candy lips and your bubblegum tongue. I could go on, but I'm just wondering, is that an example of toxic masculinity right there? I just well, want to know what the standard okay. is. Is that there's such a thing as toxic masculinity, which is men being male. Is there such a no, thing as toxic? No, that is actually toxic? completely wrong. That's not well, there's correct no at definite, all. There's no, no, no definition. There's no definition. It's just like some made up dumb feminist no, term. There isn't, there's no actually. real definition. <laughs> there's actually been course. studies but done on it. It's an academic studies. term and it's about oh, violence it's academic, against women. Now you further women. discredited it. Uh -huh. this, is, this is the best that an appearance on Tucker Carlson can go for this reason. Tucker Carlson throws so many different weird interpretations of things that are wrong in a row, so by the time he finishes his point, you're like, oh God, where was the first time I disagreed with him? So the only way out with him seems to be like, as soon as he says something wrong, which the first thing was, toxic masculinity is just men being men, you have to stop him. 
And credit to Anisha Hussein, who just said, I think that was her name, uh, just was like, no, you're wrong here. And then when he says something else wrong, you're wrong here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a couple things there. Uh, you're right, you gotta unpack every layer of weirdness and, and misdirection. Uh, notice that in the beginning of the interview, he said, look, I respect you and John Mayer. And then as soon as we got going, he's like, that's a made up dumb feminist term. <laughs> I think the respect kind of went out the door a little bit. 